back to my channel it's bp exclusive back today with another video i'm drawing nipsey hustle rest in peace nip today i will be in adobe illustrator right now i'm just inserting the picture so that i can start drawing over it so right now i'm just um, inserting his picture and creating a layer, uh, a draw layer to start outlining him. I always start out with the eyebrows and the eyes. It's much easier to start off that way because that is like the most tedious part. So I always start off just drawing um, the eyebrows in and all I do is just little marks like, I don't know how to explain it. I use a pencil. Um, the, I used the stroke that's like the first one. I use that and I put it at the lowest point. Um, you see where it's at the size oh, oh, um, opacity. I put that at the 100. And I'm just like just drawing lines. It's super easy. Just very tedious. And that's why I always do that first. I always do the hair, the eyes, the lashes. The whole, basically the whole outline. I always do that first because that is the... Um, the base basically so eyebrows take forever hair takes forever and this beard is gonna be very tedious I already know but I know what I'm probably gonna end up doing so yep let me just outline everything for you guys so now I'm going in and doing the eyelashes that is his eyelashes like usually with girl eyelashes i go upward but his you know guys have straight eyelashes well most of them so i'm just have to go downward position and i'm now i'm just i'm just highlighting everything i'm doing the basic outline of everything on his face his lines his creases um I did do kind of a shading on his eye because it is almost black, so I did do that. And now I'm going to be outlining his nose, which is really easy. I literally use the same stroke for um, all of this part. Um, I don't change it. It's always at the lowest size, 100% opacity. Why can I say <laughs> opacity? Why am I struggling saying that? I don't know. Anyways, yeah, probably like tired. But yeah, so I'm just doing his beard now. So this is what's going to take forever. Um, uh, this is sped up, so I am going faster. It actually took me, an hour. it only actually only took me two hours to make this picture. But yeah, right now I'm just doing the outline. Now I'm doing his mouth. And you're going to see how it looks at first. It's going to look so stupid because, like, the third one, the color, you can drag it on. And you can drag it on the picture and pick up the color that's actually on the photo. And the color that I picked up was, like, purpley. Like, it looked like lipstick. So um, you're going to see me, like, do that part. But right now I'm just outlining the beard. This is so easy. Like, you're literally just, like, doing squiggles all around, like, this is so easy doing squiggle that's it and that stroke the way it's the way it is it makes it look like that so yeah all i'm doing is highlighting not highlighting outlining his beard because i'm going to color the inside but i'm going to know i'm going to show you how i make it blend um yeah so highlight outline and yeah so now I'm going in just finishing up some more lines I want to add into on his face. And that's it. And then I'm going to start on his hairline. So basically what I did for the beard is exactly what I'm going to do for the hairline. But I'm going to like outline. What's the thing is you have to make each point connect. If they don't connect, then it's not going to fill it in. So like I just filled in a piece of it. And then where I knew I wanted to add like actual hair line and defined it. Um, so yeah, this is basically what I'm doing. I'm just outlining the whole picture, well the whole hair where I know it's going to be mainly black. I didn't do that braid because I knew that was going to kind of be a struggle. 
and then I just go in and okay I just go in and start um, doing like quick sh brush strokes on the line so it can be more defined and look like hair even though that part is um, black if you do add the lines this makes it look more realistic so I do this every time every time I do a picture this is how I do it so now this is the part where I'm going to show you guys how I blend the beard make it look realistic so I'm just going in and coloring like a majority of the beard black with the bigger stroke this one I use a big stroke and then when I get that much outline then I start blending so I literally do squiggles that's it that's all I'm doing like squiggles um, making it harsher towards where the line is so you can't tell that it was like how I made it so it doesn't look sloppy is just like blended together so all I'm doing is squiggles this is really easy but it's very it takes forever and this is like the only thing that like I don't like about drawing is this part like doing like hair and stuff like doing hair is like the hardest part to do um but I still do it but it is pretty hard not hard it's just tedious I'm like <laughs> it's so tedious so annoying um but yeah, so, yeah, you guys, so, voiceovers, this is very interesting, I don't know if I really like doing voiceovers on my channel, um, but I really want to do this picture, like, this picture is about to be so dope, I can't wait for you guys to see the end of it, but I really wanted to do his picture, because, like, he meant so much to a lot of people, and it's, he was very inspiring, and, I just want to be a part, of, I just want to, you know, showcase my talent, but still also, you know, draw his picture, like, I actually, I draw my friends all the time, but I've never drew a celebrity or anything, because you know how, like, people have the fan art and stuff, I never thought about doing stuff like that, and he just seemed like a good person, and overall, like, just a good man, and yeah, I hope you guys like this picture, and please make sure you guys are subscribing to my channel. I do have a lot of content coming soon. And I just hope that you guys are subscribed and you hit that notification so that you guys are um, going to be notified every time I post my videos. Like, I haven't been doing that great of posting, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. Um, but... I need to get back. I got to be consistent. If I want to progress, I have to be consistent. And that's what I need to learn. And that's what I'm learning, actually. So now, sorry, I talk a lot. Um, now I'm doing, did I start doing freckles yet? I'm sorry. I'm like watching the video as I'm talking. And this is so hard, you guys. Okay, now I'm doing his freckles. So I picked up the color that I felt like it was close enough to the color of his freckles. And, like, first I was just doing dashes. I was using the second one, that second stroke on there. Um, I was using that, and it was just making lines. So then I decided to go in and use the one, the first one, that actually makes dots. So I go in, and I'm going to, eventually, I don't know what I'm doing right now. Sorry, guys. Um... Oh, so yeah, so I already did all his freckles, just little dots all over. Now I'm coloring his skin, um, his ears, you know, just coloring everything. Um, I could have probably did this the easier way. I'm pretty sure people that actually do this are going to be like, y you could have did it a different way. But I am just, so you guys know, I am doing this on my phone. I did make this on my phone. And I'm at work as well, so I made it at work. My job is so slow, so I made it at work on my phone. I had so much time on my hands. And now I'm doing his tattoos, outlining that. So basically, um, I feel like I'm repeating myself. All I'm doing is 
outlining at the picture. Like, say basically, digital drawing is so easy. Say you like, you know how like back in the day you used to outline photos and then like color them in um, when you were a kid. Well, I know I used to do that. Basically, it's the same thing. All you're, all you're doing is outlining the picture and coloring it in. And that's pretty, I think anybody can do this, to be honest. Like, anybody can become a, like, digital, like, cartoon artist. There is a few people that do this that are way better than me because they know how to do the highlighting. That's the part that I'm not good at, highlighting. Highlighting is so hard, like, getting the, doing the dark spots. Like, you see my spot, my little highlight I tried. Um, shading basically not sorry highlight and shading I'm not good at that part so I kind of don't really do it I try but I do the best that I can I can do these tattoos I couldn't even see them so I literally was just like I don't know what I was doing like squiggly you see it keeps um xing because it's not filled in so I can't color it in <laughs> yeah okay finally I colored it in okay so yeah I'm just finishing up his whatever the blurriness of the tattoo i'm pretty sure i could have found a different picture that had it clear and that looks like any i like i'm gonna look at his tattoo because i really don't know what that says and see it's sorry it's starting to look like him oh my gosh you guys and okay i'm talking too much i'm just gonna let you guys watch me do my thing and yeah Alright, yeah, so don't forget to subscribe, but I'm like, just let you guys watch it, because now it's tedious, I'm doing, I'm tracing, basically, that's all I'm doing, you guys, it's tracing, and that is all. Oh, you're going to see how I fix his eyes, and his eyes and his lips, because I don't think I started yeah, now I'm starting on that. So, all you do is change it to white, change the color to white. And the thing about this, only thing that you have to learn is layers. I, you have to do a lot of layers, like, to make, like, if you want something underneath, you have to put that box underneath. Another box that you have, like the outline, that's always at the top because I want the pictures like the colors to be under the outline like the outline is the base like I don't want nothing to over be on top of that layer so that's always the bottom and then um so I always do like I, I have like I'm pretty sure I had like 10 layers on this one already but I'm you see I'm switching through layers or adding layers so I know like okay I want this to be under to be under the um white so I need to move that layer underneath the you know the white layer that I created so that's how you do that so that's that's pretty much the main thing you need to learn is doing the layers and how to put the order that's pretty much it and other than that you just it's just if you like drawing you'll like doing this because it's very like it's relaxing my time at work went by so fast today you guys don't even understand my job is so boring and yeah, it went by real fast because I was just drawing all day. I think I started this at like f uh, 7, 6, maybe 6. I know it was dark outside. Yeah, I think I started at 6 and I finished like maybe an hour and a half ago. I've been editing the video. And I'm finally doing the voiceover. I don't like voiceover, guys. Um, <laughs> that's why I don't really do them. Even on my DIY videos, I don't like doing them doing the voiceover okay you see how his lips look purple like i think that looks so weird i don't know why i didn't like it purple so i think i changed it to like dark brown not dark brown but like a different shade of brown because that purple looked odd yeah so i'm changing it now but i'm like it looks like i got purple lipstick on it looks weird So now I am almost done. It like looks just like him now. Like now it's him. Like now it's Nip. That's that's Nip. Um, I know now I need to co just color his skin on his neck. You see, I outlined his outfit, but I end up I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna decide. Like I'm not gonna put that part in the photo. 
Um, you'll see how it looks in the end. But now I'm just highlighting his neck. And yes, he looks fine as well. I did really good. That looks like him. Like, that's Nip, cartoon version. Like, that's him. I did good. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that is him, and I am complete. Thank you guys for watching my video. I'm also going to show you a little edit of how I, like, do my little words, how I add my little writing and stuff. I use Fonto. I'm going to show you guys that part after I'm done. I'm just, right now I'm just erasing, I believe, that the the outfit, because I did original. Oh, I didn't even do that yet. Y'all, this recording thing, I'm on my phone doing this, and it is, I can't really see behind it. So, okay, now I'm erasing the outline. Um, I'm erasing the outline now. So, yep, took that off. And what am I doing now? I am, I don't know. What am I doing? Oh, yeah, I didn't like that it, like, I actually erased the line on his neck. So, I think I'm going to draw another one. But I have to put this line all the way in the back so I have to move a layer like all the way down or something I think and then I decided you know nip color like is blue so now I'm gonna go ahead and um, insert a blue background that I found on Google and that's gonna be it um, I have to start recording I have to check it I will be back. You see them ringing like a billion times. Annoying. So now I'm just finishing up the last touches. I'm kind of erasing some parts on his neck, adding an outline to his neck, um, and erasing some of the skin tone, the skin color. I'm erasing that as well because it looks a little sloppy down there. I'm fixing that now. See the brush stroke? That's the main one I use. Um, but yeah, I'm just erasing the extra color, like the line outside, you know, coloring inside the lines. I'm trying to fix that, my ears. And also, if you guys like these type of videos and want me to start like doing other celebrities, just leave a comment below or like this video so I know like that you like to keep doing this if you guys want me to make this into a series of watch me draw someone um, just yeah just leave a comment below like like this video as well and yeah so now I'm doing the outline see oh that was raw yeah so now I'm in Fonto. I'm adding the picture that I made on Illustrator and I'm adding his name on here. Um, I had to download this font. I think it's called Old English. And I just did an outline of black and blue and I'm adding my name on there. So yeah, you guys, that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye.